Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 23rd day of December, just about wrap up time. <clears throat> And we're looking at the Dow 115. It was earlier thanks to Boeing, but now we've got about two or three stocks. You know, United Health uh, is one of them, CVX, Triple M. Uh, just uh, it's getting fewer and fewer stocks that are already moving the Dow higher, but it is higher. Didn't make an all time high. 28,608 was the high on Friday. And then it closed at the low. It was, it was one of those Moroboza candles where there are no wicks. So this is going to be very interesting because it should be slightly higher highs, and I'll tell you why. Because the S&P, I don't know how it did it, but it managed today to squeak to a new high, all-time high of 3227.78. And this is only leg B. There should be a peak B in the next couple of days, and then a leg C, and then a peak C, and then a leg D and a peak D. And that takes you to January. <coughs> um, well, we'll see. But it could take you to the first week of January. Well, we'll know later about that. The QQQ right now, the QQQ index 100 hasn't made a new high above a Friday's high. So this could turn out to be a, a doji candle Friday with an inside bar and maybe a week, uh, half day Tuesday. We'll see. But 212.13 is the high. The high on Friday was 213, I believe. No, yes. No, 212.52. So up in the all-time high area, but it's not yet an, uh, an all-time high from Friday's high. The IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, down. It's up 10 cents, 166.07, down from Friday's high. I think it will be making now. This is a peak C, and there's no new high. So we're getting close. I mean, we've got the Dow, the uh, IWM. But what, if you've got the S&P only in leg B, I don't know how this is going to unfold. I think we're going to have some rogue waves, slightly higher highs, that's all. And then we start to pull back. In the meantime, we've got gold. At this, at this particular point, gold is up six. It's, it's having a nice rally, but within a very contained area. And the irony is that this has become a very quick peak A, peak B, peak C, and a leg D, and it still hasn't gone above the high of the 4th of December, the continuous contract, 1489.9. Today's high is 1489.1, and the dollar has been doing very nicely lately. Today it is unchanged. It's a 79, 97.69. I'll talk more about the, all these areas plus some key stocks in a moment when I do my Tiger Technicians Hour coming straight up. And don't forget, the opening call is my daily newsletter. I'll be back in a few moments. 